So what, what, what I've heard, I've just, again, it's just a rumour that I've heard, is that there may be some very, very early, very early preliminary discussions about the possibility of Helldivers 2 coming to Xbox. It's interesting. Well, I've heard. It's interesting, isn't it? Because, mm. like, when I played Helldivers 2, I'm like, this is the most Xbox feeling game that PlayStation mm. have ever made. It's doing very well. I mean, it's doing very well. So, the rumor mills have begun, and it looks like Helldivers 2 is the latest topic of discussion. We've seen Boom talking about Spider Man with King David coming over to Xbox at some point, whether it's a possibility or not, as we're now seeing. Xbox games flooding PlayStation and essentially Microsoft double dipping. I know some will argue that these games were already on PlayStation before they were multi-platform, but right now, all of that revenue where people are purchasing those games, buying microtransactions, all of that revenue is going to Xbox, going to Microsoft. And at the end of the day, no matter how you want to look at it, how you want to sugarcoat it, the reality is Microsoft is double dipping, triple dipping, you could say, on multiple platforms right now and reigning in the cash. And all of this is funding their day one services for Game Pass. It's funding their studios. And of course, it's pushing ahead by them getting more day one exclusives for Game Pass. Now, obviously, Helldivers 2 is probably the biggest bro game that isn't on xbox you would think that a game like helldivers 2 would be now obviously it came out on pc and playstation 5 it's done really well on play uh, it's done really well on pc and okay on playstation but that's to be expected right at the end of the day i don't really see the playstation audience the target audience for this it's cool that it's actually done well, and I'm happy to see it doing well, but I don't really see it as the target audience. The PC one was the clear target here, and releasing a day and date has succeeded. And I suspect on the one year anniversary, at that point when the game goes onto PlayStation Plus, it's gonna go onto Xbox. Now, whether it's gonna go onto the Game Pass service, or it's gonna be a purchased item, I'm not really sure, and honestly, I don't think it matters. And the only thing that's going to matter is the fact that Xbox gamers will probably dive into this game because it is a game that appeals to that demographic. Now, Nick here is obviously saying maybe, could be, possibly early talks. This could all be a bunch of nothing, literally a bunch of nothing. And there is, I mean, as far as take a grain of salt with this rumor goes we're talking the finest of the finest grains of salt here because he's made it perfectly clear that this could all be a bunch of baloney and it could be a nothing burger in its entirety what i find interesting however is the fact that these discussions could be happening with the top 25 PlayStation games having the majority games being Xbox now, Sony and Hiroki Totoki, the new president or the interim president, has to be looking at this and saying they are raking in the money. They are not in any financial trouble. And at the same time, they've put their games day and day on PC and have sold almost 30 million consoles. Whereas PlayStation has not put any day and date, so they're not double dipping with the PC audience, and they have sold 52 million, 22 million more, but Microsoft is making so much more in services, whether that's through PC sales or sales through other means. At the end of the day, those sales are still going to Microsoft, whether it's going through you know, the free people buying off Blizzard.net, the majority buying off uh, Steam, or anyone that's buying Xbox games off Epic Game Store. It, it doesn't matter. Even the Xbox launcher. I do buy games off the Xbox launcher at times. All of that, especially the launcher, 100% of that revenue goes to Xbox. But the reality is, by them pushing it onto Steam, Starfield saw maximum success. And Sony must be looking at this and thinking... They've only sold about 20, cons 20 million consoles less than us. On top of that, consoles don't really have a profit margin. It's very small to the point that it's not even worth talking about. All the profits come from software sales. 
So if Microsoft is still managing to stay in the green, or as they say in the black, by having 30 million consoles out there, by having their games day one on PC, and now having their games plastered everywhere, surely this must be raising some alarm bells over at Sony HQ to say, why aren't we capitalizing on this? So though this conversation is a rumor mill, it's, you know, just pretty much a nothing burger, I genuinely believe that these discussions over at Camp Sony are happening. And as uh, Boom was discussing with King David, the notion of Spider-Man and Miles Morales coming over to Xbox, I think that's a real possibility if they want to triple dip. There's an audience there that is interested, and Nixus could easily put the PC versions over to the actual Xbox because it's running off DirectX 12. And obviously, Xbox is running off DirectX U. But to me, it's a no brainer. They've had exclusivity over these games for two, three years. They're not selling anymore. These games have gotten to the point where they're no longer making sales. They're no longer having a return of interest. They're no longer making money. So why not put these games now on another platform that actually will accrue some money? So those people that haven't played it can now play it. And this is essentially what Microsoft did with their other games. The four games that went over to PlayStation. They weren't selling Game Pass. They weren't selling Xboxes. And let's face it, games like Spider-Man, Spider-Man Miles Morales, they're not selling anymore. Spider-Man 2 might be selling PlayStation 5s, but Spider-Man 1 and Miles Morales are not. You know, games like Returnal are not. They're just not selling. Whether Returnal would be successful on Xbox is a question for you guys to let me know in the comment section below. I personally have my doubts. But this is interesting nonetheless that, you know, the fact that these conversations could be happening, and I genuinely believe that they are happening, I think that this is a positive outlook for the future. And it's just another indication that what Microsoft is doing and building here by buying publishers and studios, and they're not done yet. They are going to buy more. Make no mistake, they are going to build on that until they are the conglomerate of the Netflix of gaming. But once they've actually, until they attain that, this seems to be the approach that they want. They're kind of forcing the change of trend. And when shareholders from other companies for other platforms like PlayStation see this, unless they're making super profits like Nintendo, where they profit over everything, someone like Sony and Hiroko Totoki especially, who loves money, they have to be looking at this and saying, how can we capitalize on this? How can we make money on this? How can we emulate what they're doing without going day and day on other platforms like Xbox, but still double dip or triple dip as it would be to sell more games and services? Of course, if them releasing the games day and day on PC, we'll probably see a shift in console sales. Some people who would have bought a PS5 probably wouldn't have bought it, but I don't think that 52 million would drop down to 10 million. It may drop down to 45 million. It may drop down to 42 million. I can't see it dropping any less than that. 42 million console sales is still a good number, just like 30 million is by them releasing their games day and date, considering the first year of Xbox Series X was pretty horrendous with no exclusives. The console launched without an exclusive. It launched brandishing Halo and didn't have Halo. I mean, it probably had as bad a launch as the Xbox One did. And it still managed to sell 30 million units without the support of the EU and the Far East. Now, can you imagine if they did have the support of the EU and the Far East? I mean, even without the Far East, with just the EU, you can probably expect another 10 million sales. Hence, we come back to my projected number of 42 million. 40 million is a pretty good number for a console, considering they're also making a mega ton of money off PC. And for those people that want to buy a PC, Microsoft is okay with that. Because at the end of the day, they don't need to sell you that hardware. They're making that money through software. So anyway, that's it for Helldivers. I think if Helldivers does come to Xbox, it's going to be a very good thing. It's a pretty it's as pretty much an Xbox game as you're going to get. Xbox fans should love this, especially in their co-op field, which is where Xbox games really shine. 
But you let me know what you think in the comment section below. I know some of you are totally against Helldivers 2 and you don't like it for, for whatever reason. I get it. Solo, the game is trash. But multiplayer, it is quite a bit of fun. But I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you have made it this far, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell to stay up to date of all content I release. And if you want to support me further, you can do that through my Patreon, YouTube membership, where you can get ad-free content. And of course, you can do that through my super thanks by thanking me for this video. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Remain legend.